Good evening. Hello, Rodrigo. How are you? Really nice to see you again. Thank you for being on time, Rodrigo. How are you doing today, sir? How was your weekend? Hope you're doing just fine. Let's see. Rodrigo, can you hear me? You there? Okay, well, no problem. We can wait a little bit. A little bit. So, uh, thank you for coming, Rodrigo. I'm really happy to see you for today. We're going to continue with our classes. Like, and thank you, Dinora. Thank you for coming. It's nice to see you again. Was I got to see you a little bit in the background. <laughs> nice. Thank you for being here. We have Daniela. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Daniela. Good evening. How's your day going? How are you doing today? How are you doing, guys? Everything okay? Did you enjoy the weekend? Did you guys have any exciting activities during the weekend so it's been really hot right I, I don't know how's the weather in your area but here it's been really hot all day it rained a little bit about a couple of hours ago but still really hot Jacqueline uh, good evening thank you for coming it's nice to see you again Bueno, muchas gracias por venir, guys. Eh, qué bueno poderlos ver otra vez. Gracias por estar temprano, como siempre. Espero que se le hayan pasado bien el fin de semana, que hayan podido descansar, estén con ánimos. Sé que el lunes a veces nos cuesta un poco. Estamos como empezando, calentando los motores ahí y todo eso, pero intentemos tener buenos ánimos. Manifestemos cosas positivas, como dicen. So guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed the weekend. I hope you guys had a great time. Hopefully you guys were able to spend time with your families, your family and friends. And happy to see you again, guys. Thank you for coming. So I was checking the WhatsApp group that we have and I can see that some of you, some of you, uh, I mean, everybody is doing a great job, but I can see that there are some people that have been doing an outstanding job and I want to thank you for that and I want I want to encourage you to keep doing the, the good work that you're doing because I can see that you guys are putting a lot of effort into this I know that it's not easy you guys probably have other things to do like I always say so thank you for that effort thank you for I'm only listening today okay no problem thank you you know I thank you for letting me know that's fine no problem no problem it's okay. No worries. Right, guys. So last week on Friday, we basically, we didn't really finish section number two. We just uh, were in the middle of the, like, final topic. We didn't have enough time on, on Friday. And I apologize because maybe I didn't manage time the way that I, I'm, I'm supposed to. So I apologize for that. But for this week, guys, we only have one section, which is going to be section number three. And we also, uh, like, like I mentioned before, I'm, I'm sorry, I just want to say that we just have to complete section number three. And also we need to complete the midterm exam. So that's basically all that you guys need to do this week. And this week, guys, we don't have classes on Friday. Thanks goodness. We don't have classes on Friday. We only have classes from Monday through Thursday, right? So, vamos a ver. <clears throat> la semana pasada, guys, nos quedamos en la sección 2. No la logramos ni terminar. Espero que, bueno, todos hayan podido completar la sección 2 de las actividades que habían que hacer. Eh, por ahí no vi a nadie que preguntara, así que me imagino que todos lo hicieron bien, no tuvieron ningún problema, así que excelente. Qué bueno que vamos bien, no estamos teniendo ningún problema. Si ustedes se acuerdan, la semana pasada nos quedamos en la parte de Más que todo estaba como enfocado acerca de trabajos y también acerca de 
comparar, comparar los trabajos de diferentes formas. Nos quedamos en que podíamos comparar trabajos eh, utilizando nombres y también adjetivos. ¿okay? Eh, vamos a verlo aquí rapidito. Eh, acá en estos cursos que tenemos nosotros, como siempre, ¿verdad? En la educación, lo más importante es que podamos aprender. A veces las notas no son lo más importante, por así decirlo. Es bueno eh, ser dedicado, tener buenas calificaciones, pero lo más importante es aprender, ¿ok? Entonces nos quedamos en esta parte. Eh, vimos eh, estos adjetivos relacionados con el trabajo y también vimos nombres relacionados con el trabajo, como lo son las horas, la educación, eh, también la cantidad, de, el trabajo en sí mismo, ¿ok? Eh, y veíamos por ahí unas estructuras, ¿verdad? Que vamos a utilizar para esto. Aquí teníamos una, so serie, to... teníamos una serie de uh, profesiones o trabajos. Por ejemplo, teníamos acá, uh, we have a lawyer, we have a mechanic, we have a, maybe a model, I guess, model. Then we have a, I don't know exactly what this is, an accountant maybe, I don't know. And then we have um, a pilot, we have a photographer, we have a, a pharmacist. I imagine that this is a pharmacist, I don't know. And then we have a painter, I guess. Someone who paints. I suppose that that's what it is, right? So aquí tenemos nurse, doctor, we have architect, civil engineer, accountant, lawyer, actor, musician. Entonces acá teníamos estas palabras, luego nosotros teníamos por acá estas estructuras de comparación. Eh, no todas se utilizan para... Digamos, en este caso, adjetivos y nombres, no todas. Eh, por ejemplo, para el caso, creo que estábamos viendo que para el caso de los eh, nombres eh, era bastante conveniente utilizar estas, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, podríamos decir, eh, teníamos la comparación acá de abogado y mecánico, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces decíamos nosotros, eh, un mecánico eh, tiene mejor, eh, mejores horas que un eh, abogado, por ejemplo. O un mecánico tiene peores horas que un eh, abogado. Entonces, eh, básicamente ahí estábamos haciendo la comparación, ¿verdad? Era entonces, so, a lawyer uh, has better than hours than a mechanic. ¿Ok? Básicamente, eh, acá nosotros utilizamos un nombre, que el nombre en este caso eran las horas. ¿Ok? Después teníamos... Eh, por ejemplo, a mechanic que uh, has uh, worse, um, let's say, tools than a lawyer, for example. Okay. Un mecánico tiene peores herramientas que un abogado, por así decirlo. Una comparación nada más. Y de esa forma íbamos haciendo nosotros las comparaciones entre trabajos. Okay. Eh, también teníamos, por otro lado, con adjetivos, que adjetivos son eh, cualidades, ¿verdad? Como decíamos. Por ejemplo, estresante, eh, si es eh, también eh, por acá, eh, fascinante, eh, difícil, fácil, interesante, peligroso. Entonces podríamos decir, por ejemplo, eh, uh, por ejemplo, a mechanic job is more uh, dangerous than a lawyer's job, por ejemplo. O, eh, ¿qué otra cosa podemos decir? Uh, Being a, uh, a lawyer is um, less stressful than being a mechanic, por ejemplo. Okay, entonces ahí vamos nosotros eh, formando nuestras comparaciones a partir de estas estructuras. Okay? No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta. Esta parte se la estoy explicando porque en la clase anterior no tuvimos mucho tiempo para practicarlo. Ni para yo explicárselas. Estábamos ahí un poquito apurados. Entonces creo que ya no pudimos verlo bien. So, do you guys have any questions about this? Creo que me pudiera, eh, me gustaría quizás que pudiéramos hacer como una actividad en la cual ustedes hablen acerca de sus eh, trabajos, tal vez en parejas, eh, y podemos ver ahí de que ustedes hablen acerca de su trabajo y tal vez puedan compararlo. ¿okay? Por ejemplo, si uno de ustedes es un contador uh, y el otro es, por ejemplo, una persona que trabaja en ventas, uh, you guys can say like being a sales Uh, or salesperson is uh, more stressful 
than being an accountant, for example. I don't know, just, just an example. Or you can say, um, vamos a ver, ¿qué otra cosa podemos decir? Siempre vamos a tener que, creo que primero lo que tenemos que hacer es buscar como una lista de adjetivos y de nombres relacionados con nuestro trabajo. ¿Ok? Creo que eso sería lo primero. Por ejemplo, es estresante, es un adjetivo, eh, es emocionante, eh, ese tipo de cosas. Eh, ¿Cómo es? Eh, ¿Qué cantidad de horas tenemos? Eh, si tenemos más beneficios, los beneficios serían como un nombre, ¿ok? Eh, vacaciones también, otra cosa de la cual podríamos hablar. Entonces, esta parte era con respecto a los, la comparación con adjetivos y con un nombre, ¿ok? Vamos a ver por otra parte acá. Tenemos la comparación eh, con verbos y pasados participios. ¿ok? Esta parte ya no la vimos. Vamos a ver... Eh... ¿Qué podemos decir acá de esta parte? Nosotros, ah, además de lo que les acabo de mencionar, de comparar con adjetivos y comparar con nombres, también podemos hacerlo there you, there you, there. y con pasados participios. ¿okay? ¿A qué me refiero con eso? Vamos a usar las mismas estructuras. Fíjense acá. Dice more than, less than, better than, worse than, as, as, and not as, as. ¿okay? So basically, uh, we have the same thing. We have the... Uh, Let's say the same jobs, and then we have some work-related verbs, like in this case. So, for example, we have earn, travel, work. Okay, so you can say things like um, a mechanic uh, works more uh, than has more work to do than a lawyer, for example, more physical work to do than a lawyer, for example. Or uh, you can say that a salesperson travels more than a accountant, for example. Or you can say that a, a painter uh, earns less than a lawyer, for example, okay? No sé si lo vamos a ir anotando acá, probablemente para que lo podamos ver, lo podamos visualizar mejor. Vamos a decir, ok, so a sales person travels more than an accountant. Ok, perdón. ¿Qué tenemos, verdad? Sería un ejemplo. Luego, eh, no solamente pueden ser eh, de forma positiva, también pueden ser de forma negativa. ¿Cómo sería eso? Uh, sería como a sales person doesn't travel as much as a photographer. Ok. Eh, una persona que trabaja en ventas, un vendedor, no, tra eh, no viaja tanto como un fotógrafo. Por ejemplo, así. ¿Alguna pregunta? Esto es con respecto a los verbos. Ok. Tenemos acá el verbo viajar. Eso es lo que estamos comparando. Estamos diciendo que un trabajo, esa persona trabaja, eh, viaja más que la otra, ¿ok? Dentro de sus profesiones, cada uno. Luego, por otra parte, tenemos eh, los participios, pasado participio. Entonces, tenemos nosotros el verbo en la forma base. Sería, por ejemplo, pay. Y luego, el participio vendría siendo el verbo en la forma, en pasado participio, ¿ok? Entonces... Nosotros podríamos decir, uh, so a lawyer uh, gets better paid perdón, than a, vamos a ver, ¿qué podemos decir acá? Uh, bueno, es bastante subjetivo, pero podríamos decir, por ejemplo, a bus driver, I don't know. So a lawyer gets better paid than a bus driver. Okay. Entonces acá estamos utilizando el verbo en la forma participio. Esa es la otra forma de comparativa que nosotros tenemos. Vamos a ver. Teacher, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. If I want to say like, lawyer could have. 
a better pay than a bus driver, than a bus driver, it's okay or not? It's right or not? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah, I don't think that there is uh, any grammatical mistake with that. Should you say okay. that you could get better pay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bueno, entonces, eh, acá están, acá tenemos otros ejemplos. Gracias, eh, Daniela. Eh, acá tenemos otros ejemplos. Vamos a, aquí voy a borrar quizás lo que acabo de colocar. Eh, veamos por acá, aquí está, borrar. Aquí tenemos eh, ejemplos con verbos, ¿ok? Dice, a doctor earns more money than a nurse, ¿ok? A nurse doesn't earn more money than a doctor. Like I mentioned before, it doesn't have to be... Uh, positive statement it can be also a negative statement that's that's fine at the end and we also have a teacher earns as much as a police officer okay so we have a different structure here it's not the same structure that we have um, up, uh, on top like this part uh, on, on this part of the screen uh, we have a different structure here which is a uh, teacher earns as much as a police officer okay vamos a ver eh, ¿qué otros okay. ejemplos quite simply said Por aquí más adelante tenemos la parte de los pasados participios, que es lo que les estaba explicando. ¿okay? Dice, a doctor is better paid than a nurse. Entonces, acá está el pasado participio. Esa es la otra forma. Entonces, como les mencionaba anteriormente, no todas las estructuras sirven, sirven para todos los casos. Eh, ahí tenemos nosotros que un poco analizarlo. Eh, ¿Cuál es la estructura que más se eh, adapta, que es más, eh, que es correctamente, eh, perdón, que es eh, más correcto en, en cuanto a la forma gra, gra, gramaticalmente, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos acá otra vez, eh, nos, va, nos hacen la comparación entre un doctor, una enfermera, eh, tenemos eh, nosotros la comparación con adjetivos, con nombres, con verbos y pasado a participio. Vamos a hacerlo de las cuatro formas. Vamos a ver. Acá. Es, creo que se nos pide que nosotros hagamos esto. Vamos a ver, ¿qué comparaciones podemos hacer? Eh, quiero que ustedes me ayuden, guys. Con respecto a esto, vamos a utilizar nosotros estas eh, estructuras y también creo que pudiéramos primero hacer como una lista, ¿verdad? De cosas, eh, como lo vimos anteriormente, ¿ok? Adjetivos en cuanto al trabajo de un doctor, de una enfermera, nombres, ¿ok? Verbos, eh, bueno, ya vimos que principalmente son eh, trabajar, eh, ganar, eh, también, por ejemplo, viajar. Ese tipo de cosas. Así que, ¿qué, ¿qué creen ustedes que pudiéramos utilizar? ¿Qué palabras podríamos utilizar nosotros relacionadas con el trabajo de un doctor y una enfermera? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Por ejemplo, como vimos anteriormente, stress. They are... Go ahead. No, no, no. No, no, no. It is a bad example. Okay. No, sorry. no problem. That's okay, Walter. No problem. Vamos a ver, ¿quién, a, ¿alguien más que tenga una idea por ahí? Vamos a ver. Ya les dije uno, por ejemplo, ahí, eh, estresante, puede ser emocionante, también puede ser, um, pensemos, eh, ¿qué creen ustedes para un doctor? O sea, ¿qué, qué, 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 qué adjetivos, qué cali cualidades puede tener el trabajo de un doctor o de una enfermera? Puede ser, eh, como dijimos, estresante. Pensaste. Cansado, perdón. It's okay, the pronunciation, exhausted. Exhausting, very good, yes, exhausting. Thank you. Thank you. Creo que es así, ¿verdad? Exhausting. Ese es un buen adjetivo, una buena, un buen ejemplo. Podemos decir que, eh, no sé si ustedes van a estar de acuerdo, pero tal vez podemos decir que el trabajo de un doctor uh, es más... Um, como it's more exhausting than a nurse job I, I don't know maybe or you can say that it's as exhausting as a nurse job ¿qué piensan? vamos a ver eh, quiero que me den ejemplos ustedes por favor guys vamos a ver Vamos a utilizar estas estructuras. Principalmente cuando es un adjetivo vamos a utilizar esta o esta, por ejemplo. Esta de acá del medio la vamos a utilizar cuando sean nombres. 
¿ok? ¿Qué otra cosa podemos decir acerca de, de los trabajos de los doctores, de las enfermeras? Lo de las horas que dijimos antes, ¿verdad? Eso es un nombre. No sé si tal vez una enfermera trabaja menos tiempo que un doctor. Entonces, uh, digamos que una enfermera gets better hours than a doctor, maybe. Luego, ve verbos, eh, sería un doctor que gana más posiblemente que una enfermera. Bueno, entonces vamos mejor a pasar esta parte. Vamos a pasar de acá. Thank you. Vamos a pasar de esto. Vamos a continuar. With adjectives and nouns and what you are learning in this current lesson. Vale, ok, nos vamos a quedar en esa parte. Lo vamos a dejar así. Pues acá esta parte era de las actividades. And finally, guys, we have this... Uh, Uh, summer jobs. This is like a little uh, audio program uh, so you guys can identify uh, what they say in the conversation. So we're going to listen to this and I want you to take notes so you guys can tell me what they said. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. So please pay attention because I'm going to ask you directly so you guys can tell me what they said. Okay. Vamos a escucharlo rapidito. night so i get to sleep as late as i want hi everyone by the end of this class you will develop skills in listening to descriptions after listening to the audio program you'll complete a quiz in order to check your understanding so let's get started you'll listen to three people describe their jobs your task is to answer the following questions do they like their jobs why or why not So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in. Uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No. I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef. Vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah. But I work from two in the afternoon until eleven at night, so I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Hey, very good. Uh, we're going to listen to it one more time, guys. Just one more time, okay? A quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions: Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. 
Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in, uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you! Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef. Vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full-time? Yeah, but I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night, so I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. All right, there we go. Thank you, guys. Uh, now, we are, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about these guys. So, let's see. I'm going to ask. Uh, Nora said that she's not, she's just listening, I, I guess. So, uh, that's what she said. All right, that's fine. So then we can ask maybe Luis Aldana. You there? Uh, yes, teacher. I'm here. Okay. Uh, very good. Thank you. So could you please tell me what they said in conversation number two? Uh, sorry that I don't hear it. Uh, I'm taking just one voice note. So I didn't really hear the the second one. Okay, uh, so which one did you hear? I rarely hear, like, just with some noise. So I'm going to hear it once again, and then I could, I could answer the question. Sorry, teacher. That's okay. No, that's okay. Don't worry. Okay, uh, thank you. We have uh, Kevin. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Uh, I, w I would like to answer the question you just did. Um, mm -hmm. We were talking about a man that was the working that in I a just, rest. The question that I just asked, right? Yeah, the one we just asked, yeah. That, right. mm -hmm. We were listening the audio about a man that was working in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. He was having a kind of busy day doing some wash, di dishing some what some, di sorry, washing some dishes. Mm -hmm. and doing all other, all other kind of things in the restaurant. I remember the interviewer asked why he doesn't quit it, and he said that he needs the money. That's mm -hmm. all I remember. I don't know if that's okay for you. Very good. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, so they were talking about this summer job. He said that he's working at a restaurant. And just like you said, uh, they said uh, he said that he doesn't quit because the money is not bad. That's what he said, right? And he also mentioned a couple of more things, like for example, he didn't realize how hard it is to work in a restaurant uh, until now. So yeah, very good, Kevin. Very good job. Thank you. Vamos a ver quién más. Eh, aparte de Kevin, alguien más que me pueda contar acerca de los otros, de las otras dos conversaciones. Vamos a ver. Very good job, Kevin. Very good. Vamos a ver, eh, da Daniela. I'm here. Okay. Uh, so, Daniela, could you tell us a little bit about maybe conversation number one or conversation number three? 
Yeah, sure. Well, conversation number one, I'm completely agree with him. It's funniest to work with kids than work with adults <laughs> all the time. Uh, he funniest. loved his, yeah. he loved his job. He uh -huh. was talking about that he at summer he was a uh, oh my goodness I always forget it's a tool tour <laughs> mm -hmm. and he need he help the kids who needs who needs help I don't know what the other word with math and English mostly mm -hmm. the students all the time use a computer so you just only have to help them when they ask when they ask it and I think that's when all he loves he loves mm -hmm. he loves his job yeah right that's what he seems uh, he says that he, it seems like he likes it yes I agree with you so and where does he work do, do you know where he works sorry uh, where does he work do you know where he works uh, he said something at the beginning about that he says that he works as a tutor at and then he said like the place where he works i can't remember you can't sorry remember. that's fine yeah sorry no, no problem. i just that's only okay. remember about the hours he and, like he uh -huh. like his job because he can choose the hours okay yeah so very good that's why that's why he loves the job too very good very very good thank you so much Daniela. thank you i appreciate that thank you Okay, muy bien. <ríe> Gracias, Daniela. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien más? Todavía nos falta una más. Si alguien más quiere participar. Luego pasamos a la siguiente parte. Realmente solo es para como repasar esto. Creo que casi ni lo vimos. Y quería pues tomarme el tiempo para que lo revisáramos, ¿verdad? Porque esta semana ya tenemos que pasar a la sección número 3. Vamos a ver, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, go ahead. Hello, everybody. Uh, it was Julia, the one that is missing, right? I guess so, yes. Julia. <laughs> uh, okay, she said that she's working as a, a telephone marketing seller, something like that. And uh, she likes her jobs because while they are not uh, doing phone calls, they are a lot of fun. And also, it's easy because they are they are, uh, they are just how to read a script. So, and also she can she have a time in the morning to sleep a little bit more. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good, Jacqueline. So she says that when they are not taking calls, mm -hmm. they can have a lot of fun. It's really fun because of that. Because when they are not taking calls, they just uh, have time to do other things right and mm -hmm. then she says that her schedule is from 2 to 11 11 uh-huh yeah. so uh, she gets to sleep more in the morning mm -hmm. very good muy bien muy bien Jacqueline es correcto <laughs> muchas gracias bueno ahí está eh, excelente muchas gracias a todos por participar los, los estoy escuchando con detenimiento porque quiero ver ahí Thank you so much, guys. You're doing a good job. You're very good. All right, so we have the next section, guys. We are going to work on this uh, this week, section number three. And we have the first class. Basically, here we have the lesson objective, which is by the end of the lesson, you will learn about different papers that people ask. And you guys can express your opinion on the papers that you dislike people asking you for. Okay. Like, for example, when somebody asks you to wash the dishes, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if somebody tells me, hey, why don't you wash the dishes, then that's something that I don't like. Uh, because I, I, I can do other things like maybe uh, cook. I, I like cooking. I enjoy cooking, but not washing the dishes. That's the part that I hate the most. And I like eating. I, I really like to eat. So... <laughs> Vamos a ver, eh, por acá tenemos un pequeño video, guys, es como una especie de pequeño, una pequeña película, así que tal vez les guste a ustedes, no sé si ya lo vieron, y si no, pues, eh, aquí lo vamos a ver juntos. Eh, es una pequeña, un pequeño escenario en el cual una persona 
le hacen, eh, le piden un favor y esta persona pues realmente no es que es, eh, quiera esté muy deseosa de hacer ese favor, ¿ok? We're gonna watch the video really quick and then we can discuss uh, the video together. So by the way, guys, I think that maybe we can have a couple of minutes. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully, we can have a couple of minutes so you guys can practice, like in couples. Uh, would you like to do that? Maybe you guys can discuss what we learned last week. Uh, you guys can talk about your job and that kind of things. I think that we can do that. Mm, bueno, déjenme ver. Vamos a hacer algo mejor. Eh, vamos, a vamos a practicar quizás un par de minutos entre ustedes que puedan hablar eh, como compañeros de clase. Eh, y me gustaría que ustedes hagan lo siguiente. Como les mencionaba, tal vez hablar un poco acerca de lo que hemos visto hasta ahora. Y también que puedan hablar acerca de sus trabajos. ¿okay? Creo que tal vez todos trabajamos o hemos trabajado. Me gustaría que ustedes hagan una comparación en cuanto a sus trabajos y que hablen acerca de ellos. So, por ejemplo, so I work in a call center. I think that somebody told me that before. I work in a call center. So I think that uh, working as a call center is uh, really stressful, um, for example. Uh, but a uh, call center agent uh, gets paid as much as a uh, doctor sometimes, maybe. You, you can say that kind of things, right? So what I want for you guys is to uh, compare jobs, talk about your jobs, and use the expressions that we learned so far, okay? Creo que solo vemos nueve nada más, así que lo podemos hacer en parejas. No sé si todos van a poder participar a veces. Eh, creo que están ocupados, no sé. Pero esperemos que la mayoría puedan participar, ¿ok? Así que vamos a hacer parejas ahorita, vamos a hacer eso. No sé si les ha quedado claro lo que les acabo de decir, o que quiero que hagamos. ¿Alguna pregunta? Va a ser bastante libre, ¿ok? Ustedes pueden hablar libremente de lo que ustedes quieran, pero también tratemos de enfocarnos en esa parte, ¿ok? Bueno, vamos entonces a hacer esto. Voy a hacer los grupos de parejas. Ser, perdón, van a ser parejas más bien. Eh, los, los cuartos para parejas. Y para que podamos practicar, ¿ok? There we go. Vamos a, por acá les voy a compartir lo que estábamos viendo hace un momento, mejor. Vamos a ver qué tal. Ojalá que todos se puedan unir sin ningún problema. Aquí vamos a dejar por acá. Quizás se lo voy a compartir por WhatsApp mejor. Para que ustedes lo puedan ver.
never went to an English. Oh my goodness, we're, we're back, I think, or not. No, I think he was checking what we were doing. Okay, so, like I told at the beginning of the class, I never went to an English class. Officially, you never. You learn, you learn by yourself, by yourself. You were autodidact. Yes, I don't know, I don't know how. I, I don't know how. It's just like, um, my hobby is to be a singer, so... When you use the vowels in English, is is important when you are training because the vowels are better for sing better. <laughs> I don't know if you can understand. So that's why I start to learn English with music and TV series, and then at the church came many American people. So my mom all the time she she can speak English. I can't speak English, but the people start to talk with me and they always say, Daniela, you just have to speak in English. Never say, never say you can't speak English. You just only start and we were going to try to understand what you're talking about and you're going to practice. And people mm -hmm. and inspire them to uh, try to get the, no. the, the cells done. On time, the in the period, uh, mm -hmm. no, uh, there are no calls. There are uh, uh, door to door, uh, mm -hmm. open engagement with the the clients. So you need to convince them in their maybe not in their homes, but on in the in the places that they work or where they have their businesses, because some people work and also have a business uh, aside. But uh, in our daily basics we try to sell them on their business because we need the documentation from that place also some photos from the people that it's uh, in church in that uh, in that restaurant or in the in whatever place we, we are going to put the the POS or the post and finally mm -hmm. try to to make a good uh, a good impression with him or her to just Prove it that the product is good and they can use it as long as they want with us. Uh, did you sell the Cuba? Yes. No. Yes. I'm, I'm thinking about the use the Cuba, but I don't like the fee that you have to pay. That I think it is 5% you have to pay for every, for every transaction, right? But it depends. We can make exceptions if you want. I don't know what is the... Uh, what business or or in what business are you uh, are you into? Uh, we manage an an Instagram account that is called Silver underscore Silver. Um, um, sometimes I need the, I need to receive some payments in uh, through the debit card or credit card. But I remember that I asked for some information about the Cubo. But uh, I didn't like the part that I have to pay that percent. But you said that you can do, or uh, your team can do some exceptions about it. But and also I don't like the way they say that they they are um, the way we can ask for our money. It's only on Wednesday, I guess, on Thursday, and I don't like that because sometimes I need to have the money right back. Because I have to use it again. I have to invest, invest yeah. the money. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I understand because you're an entrepreneur and you need the money as fast as you can. So yes. uh, for that, we have the solution for give you the POS that you have the money, mm -hmm. the money that you, uh, that came to your bank account. In Monday, you're going, no, in Monday, if you sell something, in your bank account is going to be a, a, a it's going to be available the next day so mm -hmm. you are going to have your money the next day uh, that you uh, already sell the, the item that you are selling and also mm -hmm. the percentage i think that the word is bargain we can bargain that and take it into the lowest as mm -hmm. far as you are using the pos uh, 
many times a week or per month. We like have the uh, the historic uh, transactions that you make on the month, and we can uh, make this little mm -hmm. bargain and take the the lowest commission uh, that can be possible for your for in, your entrepreneur. So you have not to be okay. worried and about how many... that. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it could how be many... like. Uh -huh. How many uh, transactions do I have to do? I'm sorry. Uh, no, yeah, you can make it in one uh, in one month. Like, for example, uh, what is the the average uh, uh, product uh, item that you sell? Like the cost of the product that you that you are selling. Around fifteen dollars or less, twenty dollars, and so on. And like in a really good day, how many items that did you sell? In a good day, <laughs> hello guys, what's going Hi. on? Why are you smiling like that, Jacqueline? Ah, uh, because we are talking, and <laughs> it was surprising that we were saying something in Spanish. <laughs> Oh, it was about the, the grades or the percentages or something. Well, my goodness. Okay, I'm, glad, I'm glad that I came because I just like this, I'm going to force you to speak in English. So that's good. Excuse me, Rodrigo. Sorry, but I can barely hear you, Rodrigo. I don't know why. Can you hear what he said, uh, Jacqueline? Because I, I couldn't hear what he said. No, that ah. I was telling him that I was having issues to understand that it's not because he's not speaking well, but I, I think it's something like the connection. Maybe the microphone or something, I guess. Mm -hmm. In my case, the auricular are in inalambic. I, I just, uh, I, so you uh, are, you know, you are using wireless uh, head, headphones? That, no, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. I see. I see, Rodrigo. Yeah, I think that maybe next time you can try something different because uh I I think that we can I can hear you very little. It's just like your voice sounds really low. Uh, so we can no. really hear you. Yeah. Okay, it's low. Like you were far away. Away, away. <laughs> <laughs> I I I oh in the town, in the house. <laughs> Ah, no, I, 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 Sí, se escucha un poco mejor, digamos, pero todavía se escucha un poquito bajo. Like the sun, you come and go. A veces lo acabas de sacar mal así. Así, así, se oye, mejor, así se oye mejor. Así se oye mejor. Es muy fuerte. Es muy fuerte. No, así está bien. Así no. Sí. Así está bien. La puerta se va a estar aquí, una, una en la oreja y el otro en la mano. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I think that okay. that's much better. We can hear you now. Ok. Ok, so, uh, Rodrigo, I'm sorry. Uh, could you please repeat what you said, yeah. be, what you said earlier? Because I think that I couldn't hear you. Repeat, please. Mm -hmm. Could you please repeat what you said earlier? Because I think that I couldn't hear you. What did you say? 
Ah, no, I, it's a, it's a little joke. Uh, I, I talk the, I say the, in five minutes, the finish, finish all vocabulary. Oh, so you said, it is a little joke. Uh, you, yes. you said something about vocabulary. Yes, yes, that, that a little joke, that, I think I, I in my, in my case, the vocabulary, I, uh, need more vocabulary because the, the birth is, I know, I know much birth, the vocabulary is a, it's a little, it's a, it's a, it's, it's no more, it's no more vocabulary. I say, uh, in español pienso las cosas y no me recuerda, a veces porque no me recuerdo de, oh. del vocabulario. <laughs> I see, okay, yeah, I understand. Yeah, that happens, I mean, sometimes we forget about words, you know, like, sometimes in Spanish, you may want to say something and then uh, you can that you're thinking and you can't find the word, like the right word for what you're trying to say. So that happens. That's, I, I know. That's something that happens. Sí. Bueno, tal vez ahora puedan practicar un poco mejor, ahora que se le escucha más a Rodrigo. Tal vez Jacqueline lo puede escuchar mejor. Yes, uh, I can hear you and uh, I was, uh, yes, Rodrigo, it sounds better now. Very good, Jacqueline. Thank I'm you. fighting with my cat. <laughs> He's trying to <laughs> to play with the cable from the laptop. <laughs> they love cable. They love cables. I mean, they cables. love wires a lot. Mm -hmm. they, mm -hmm. I know what it's like. Yeah, I, I had a cat like uh, two years ago, I think, and mm -hmm. he was always messing with the wires. Like, I think that there was the a, there was a point that. <laughs> He, uh, he bit the, the the cord, and he almost cut it in half. Because they are they are just like that. I mean, they start uh, fighting things and uh, messing mm -hmm. with their claws and things like that. So I know what it's like. Cat things. <laughs> cat things. <laughs> just a cat thing. Yes. <laughs> That's <Cat> right. Issues. <laughs> Well, so guys, uh, do you have any questions? Uh, what were you talking about? Did you guys have a chance to talk about uh, your job and the kind of uh, things that you do at your mm -hmm. jobs? I was uh, telling Rodrigo that I work for a company, for a money transfer company for about nine years, and I love that job. Because uh, I work in a compliance department, and um, it was uh, I have to do a lot of investigations to detect possible money laundering, uh, terrorism, and things like that. It was I, I love it. I love it. I felt like as like I I was an FBI or something like that. <laughs> it was very interesting. But there was a point that I I was covering uh, three positions, mine and mm -hmm. the other two more. But I didn't get paid well. <laughs> so despite that, I love that. And there was like a man working always in a compliance department. Um, but uh, I am in an, an anti-fraud department. And I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, this company that I work in uh, now is uh, they uh, sell uh, gift cards, but in bulk. Uh, like Siman buy to select us a bulk of gift cards for the holidays mm -hmm. for their employees. Oh, and uh, we have to verify that um, the clients, the, the, the companies that are buying the, the gift cards uh, are the companies, are the real client and not like a, a scam or a, someone like... I, I, identity theft, something like that. Mm, like I a see. third party is uh, using the, the, the information from a company. It's really interesting and I, I like it. And at this moment, we are in a in the high season because of the Thanksgiving. 
I I realized yeah. last last year that the United States the, the 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 best holiday for them is the Thanksgiving and not the Christmas, right. like us. It's sad. It's sad. That's very very true. Yes, I totally mm -hmm. agree with you on that. Uh, I think that they don't care as much for Christmas as they religious, do for the religious thing. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean they. I don't know why, but Thanksgiving is uh, such a big holiday for them. It's something mm -hmm. that they really care about. I don't. I think that uh, they don't go to work. They, mm -hmm. uh, they have celebrate two, two, three family. days. I think at the Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and Cyber Monday. Cyber yeah. Monday. Cyber Monday. Uh -huh. yeah. That sounds really good. That sounds really interesting. I like your job. I can see why you enjoy it. And I can see why you like it. Because you sound like, just like you said, like some kind of secret agent or some kind of superhero. So that sounds really uh -huh. good. Yes. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. But that's something that, that happens. Way, I like it. I love it. <laughs> and and what, you, mm -hmm. what, you told, what you told me about, about having uh, to cover for, for two other positions, that's also something that happens a lot. Uh, I think it's very mm -hmm. common that sometimes you have to do a lot of things that probably you're not supposed to do to begin with. And at the end, you don't get paid for that. I think that that's something that happens too. Mm -hmm. and it's really sad. So I'm I'm glad to hear that you have a, a different job now and that you uh, enjoy the, the job that you have. It's really good. Thanks. Something that is fulfilling. Very good. Very good. Well, thank yes. you, thank you. And almost, almost the first part of year, I was like uh, just a few. Uh, no tenía mucho trabajo. Uh, oh. It was like really comfortable. I spent the day reading, trying to study something, and uh, in my house. And uh, now <laughs> from. Uh, in uh, the first, I felt like, boom, here's your job, boom. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You already had enough time to relax and uh, to do other things like reading. So now I, I, it's time to work. Uh, it's time to work. It's time to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Jacqueline. So, very good. Very good. I will let you guys talk a little bit more, sorry Rodrigo sorry and... bueno, creo que ya casi no acaba el tiempo de hecho, perdón por quitarles eh, de su tiempo, creo que vamos solamente a regresar eh, a la sala principal por así decirlo para despedirme de todos y para terminar la clase, ok, okay. guys, so I'll see you in a moment Alrighty, so there we go, guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, staying until the end. I was just uh, hearing you. Uh, you guys did a great job. I liked it. You guys have really interesting conversations. So <laughs> I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I stick uh, along for a couple of minutes with you, with some of you. And I really liked it. I hope that you guys had I've, the opportunity. To I thought you were sleeping. No, I mean, I, I liked it. That was really interesting. What you guys were, uh, were saying about uh, the transactions and business, I almost felt like <laughs> opening a new business or something like that. Yeah, we will try. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yes, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yes, very good. Yes. So, well, guys, uh, thank you so much for coming uh, today to the class. I really appreciate that. And I will see you tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy uh, the rest of the evening. Okay. Good bye night. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good